Welcome back. This video will teach you about something called atomic number, mass number, and isotopes. After today, you should be able to find the atomic mass, atomic number, and symbols of elements off of the periodic table, calculate the number of neutrons in a particular atom, and explain what an isotope is. Atomic number is the number of protons in an element. It is always a whole number. For example, oxygen's atomic number is eight, so therefore there are eight protons in oxygen's nucleus. For neutral elements, or elements that have no charge, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. As I mentioned, the number of positive things has to equal the number of negative things. The number of protons will never change for an element. It's like our social security number. It identifies them. Atomic mass is read right off of the periodic table. This number will have a decimal. It is the weighted average of all the elements isotopes. On most periodic tables, it seems like it looks like the atomic number is at the top and typically the atomic mass is on the bottom. But I think it might be a good idea right now for you to take your periodic table and just double check to see for oxygen where the atomic number is and where the atomic mass is. Some periodic tables even have almost like a key that allows you to know where each of these things is. Mass number. Mass number is the number of protons and neutrons combined. It is always a whole number. To find the number of neutrons is pretty easy. You have to take the mass number minus the atomic number. For example, oxygen's mass number is 16 and its atomic number is eight. The number of neutrons would be 16 minus eight, which is eight. Isotopes are atoms with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Remember, the number of protons cannot change, and so that's why only the neutrons will vary at this point. Isotopes are chemically alike, which means that they just behave similarly with chemical reactions, for example. They have different mass numbers, though, because we said that the mass number is going to be the protons plus the neutrons. They have to have different mass numbers because the neutrons are different in isotopes. Whenever you have to write the name of an isotope, you are always going to write the element name, a dash, and the mass number. So for example, these are all neutral hydrogen isotopes. Remember neutral just means that protons must equal electrons. There are three major isotopes of hydrogen. There's hydrogen one, hydrogen two, and hydrogen three. Here are Bohr models that represent all of the hydrogen atoms. Take a minute and see if you could figure out which of these particles are supposed to be the electrons, which is the protons, and which are supposed to be the neutrons. If you guess that the red dot outside is supposed to be the electrons, you would be right. If you guess that the red dot inside here is supposed to be the protons, you would also be right. Hopefully you were able to realize that this red dot has to be the protons because notice the protons are the same for each of these models. And then finally, if you guess that the blue are neutrons, you would also be right because as we mentioned, protons won't ever change, but neutrons can, and that's what your isotopes are. So to summarize this, Every single one of these models has one proton. Every single one of these models has one electron because again, I specify that it's neutral. And then finally, hydrogen one has zero neutrons. You can see it doesn't have any blue. Hydrogen two has one neutron and hydrogen three has two neutrons. So by looking at this, you can see that for isotopes, only the number of neutrons will vary. And again, if you notice, to figure out the number that you have over here, that is going to be the sum of the number of particles in the nucleus. So for example, that's one, 
this is going to be two, and then this is going to be three. And that, again, is the mass number. So let's summarize. Again, atomic number equals the number of protons, which also equals the number of electrons for neutral atoms. Mass number equals the number of protons plus the neutrons. And if you're still struggling with that, I want you to think back to when we talked about the different masses of the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. Remember, the protons and the neutrons have a very similar mass, whereas the electrons really don't have such a substantial mass. So if you remember, the electron's mass was 1 over 1840, versus with the protons and the neutrons, it has a relative mass of 1. So when I hear the word, the words mass number, I think about what are the particles that actually have substantial mass in the atom. And so that makes me think of, hey, that must be the protons and the neutrons. Also, to figure out the number of neutrons, you would do the mass number minus the atomic number. Let's see if you got it. There was an exit ticket that you most likely completed in class that had some practice, and this will be the exact type of assessment that you will see in the near future. To double check your work, here are the answers to the exit ticket. So first up is sulfur. So you would have to look on your periodic table to find where it is on the periodic table to find that atomic number. The atomic number is 16. The mass number would be 32, and you may say, how do you get that? Well, you would have to add the atomic number plus the number of neutrons. And if you remember, the atomic number is also the same as the number of protons, which is 16. And because these are neutral, that would also be the same as the number of electrons. In the next example, you have the atomic number given, but no symbol. So the symbol you would have to find, finding atomic number 7 on the periodic table, and that is nitrogen. The number of protons would be 7 because atomic number is always equal to the number of protons. The number of neutrons would be the mass number minus the number of protons, and that will give you the neutrons. And then finally, because this atom is neutral, you would have the same number of electrons as you do protons. When you look up atomic number 17, you'll find that that is the symbol for chlorine. The mass number is going to be the number of protons and the number of neutrons combined, 35. And then the number of electrons would be the same as the number of protons, which is 17. Last but not least, calcium. You may say, how did you get calcium? Well, if you notice, the electrons are 20. So that tells me that the atomic number has to be 20 and the number of protons has to be 20. And that corresponds to calcium. And then you may ask, how do you know what the number of neutrons are going to be? Again, you would take the mass number minus the number of protons, and that will give you the number of neutrons. I hope this video was helpful in being able to understand the different types of basic arithmetic that we can do to find the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Thank you so much for watching. I think you did a great job today.